everybody. Today we're going to be checking out Minvo, which is an Opus alternative. What this does is it turns regular long form videos into clips. It'll give you subtitles, does auto framing, auto emojis, apparently B-roll, background music, and it connects to all of your social medias. On surface level, you're like, okay, this is actually better than Opus, which is, in my opinion, the leader of this particular category of software. Uh, I actually use Opus myself. This is my account. And I use Opus for quite a few things, a couple different channels. And the reason I use Opus is not only because it's good, it's because it's freaking cheap. I'm actually on this pro plan here, which is $9 a month. You pay by the year. It's just slightly over $100 for the year and you're good to go. It does only give you about 60 hours per year, uh, which is only about five hours per month. Uh, I've never actually used more than five hours in a month. So Opus does perfect for me. Uh, I only use it on one other channel as a test. Minvo is actually a competitor to Opus. And I mean, if everything works out perfectly, it will be my replacement as well. So let's get into it. I've been testing Minvo for about a week now. Um, there's a few things I like about it, a few things I don't like about it. Obviously, you could tell that I don't use it often. I still opt to use uh, Opus, not necessarily because it's a ton better, but because it's just what I'm used to, that makes a big difference. So if you're used to Opus, it isn't as easy of a transition as you would hope, just fair warning. So let's go into it. Uh, Minvo does not give as many clips straight up. Opus will give you more clips. They seem to be more ready to use right away in, in Opus. A 10 minute video in Opus actually gave me, it gave me 14 different clips to choose. And I think all of them but one or two were usable. So that's pretty darn good. Where this one, I believe, was a... I want to say it's less than... It's under a 10-minute video. Uh, but it only gave me five clips. So you get, you're get you getting half the clips with Menvo. And that has been pretty much my experience with Menvo the, the entire time I've used it. Of course, I don't have a ton of experience with it. So I'm actually going to do a test in... Opus right here, we're going, this is Opus. This is the competitor that we're comparing it to. This is what everyone wants to replace, right? One, Opus works faster. It's it's faster, it gives you more clips, and I'll show you that here in just a second as this one gets done. So let's load up a video in Minvo. It has two options. You can use it to make video, or obviously you can use it to caption a short. I have not ever used it for this, and most shorts creating software already captions videos. So unless you're using a video editor of some type to get your own shorts, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of Minvo in my opinion, but that's a whole nother story. Uh, I don't see any use for that personally. I don't have any shorts without captions. So all you have to do is put your video in here. You can also upload. You can upload from your computer from here, or you can just click on it or you can import it. You just put in the link and uh, hit import. It'll start processing the video and you pop up to a screen like this. It brings in your video here. You can actually Everybody watch it we're back here too, which is pretty cool. You get your moment duration over here. You can do 30 seconds, 30 to 60 seconds, one plus minute, two plus minutes, or three plus minutes. Now you're gonna have different reasons to do all these, but one plus minute would basically be targeting TikTok. If you want to do YouTube shorts, you have to do anything below 60 seconds. Otherwise, you're going to have to edit every single clip. And that's what I do. So that's where I'm going to leave it. The one thing that it's missing from the Opus has on the duration part is Opus will give you an option to do automatic. And it's it, it just gives you the best clips no matter what the duration. And I like that a lot better. That's actually what I opt for on the Wine YouTube channel because I don't care if it goes over a minute on those. On my specific channel that you're watching now, I only use shorts. For other channels, I could definitely, you definitely want the best clips, period, no, no matter how long they are. In my opinion. One thing that Minvo has that Opus does not have is you can tell it to focus on certain aspects. I haven't figured out a way to actually test this properly. If you guys have any ideas, post down in the comments. I'm not really sure what to put in here, but it's a neat idea. I don't know how well it's going to affect things. I just didn't know what to ask for, to be perfectly honest. So if you guys have any ideas, post down in the comments. Give me some ideas, and I'll go ahead and try those out. Now you do your, your language. I think this is for the captions. It doesn't actually say that, though, so I'm not positive. It doesn't do AI voices, so I would assume that's for the captions. Uh, and then you just hit create shorts. There are some other options down here though. You can do magic frame, which is how it 
kind of picks who's speaking. So if there's multiple people, it'll highlight the person that's speaking. That should always be turned on in my opinion. Magic emojis, if you want emojis popping up on your shorts, kind of randomly as you're saying gold, for example, it'll post a little gold emoji somewhere. Magic media, this is new to basically every clip software. Opus just added this as well. Yeah, I see it's got the, uh, the B-roll generator. That is brand new on Opus Clip, but Minvo's already got it and uh, We'll see if it works. I haven't used it on any of my videos yet. Uh, it does have magic cuts. It cuts out all the filler words like ums, um, like that. <laughs> magic emphasis just highlights the words in the captions. It's nothing crazy. I guess it makes the it pop. Now, one difference between this and Opus that I can see already is it's more work to do the captions on Minvo, where Opus, you, you just select the style you like and it'll do it. So there's no way to select that on generation, which is not a huge deal, but kind of annoying because you got to post edit everything if you want a certain caption style. So that's how you put in the videos. Another thing you need to keep in mind when you're using Minvo, you can only import from YouTube. That doesn't sound like a problem because I, I think most people use YouTube, it's probably 90% of the video out there is on YouTube. Opus Clip has Rumble, has YouTube. You can put in a Zoom link. Now, the other thing we need to cover here are the brands. So up here, you do have multiple brands with Minvo. They just switch between the two. There's some issues with this too, and we'll go over that in a second. Kind of want to just give you the layout of Minvo before we go into the specifics of what sucks, what doesn't suck what's amazing and whatnot. So to add a brand, it's super easy. You just click add brand, put in your logo, your channel name, the default language. And then these are some of your, your specifics. You got your uploads here. You got your projects up here. This is stuff that you've exported and stuff like that. Obviously you can see I haven't exported a whole lot. So you got your projects here. You got your socials here. This is your posting schedule. And this is one of the issues I'm having. So I'll go over that in a second. You, you connect your channels here. I don't like that it is not brand specific here. It should really only be showing the socials for the brand I'm on. See, I'm on Marketing Reviewed, but it's still showing the Wines Uncovered YouTube channel, the Facebook, and the Instagram when it shouldn't. So if you're sharing brands, I'm not sure if that's going to be a problem. So I also see nowhere to to add VAs to your brand. So we're gonna add a member here. These are the team settings. Okay, and that's it. So it doesn't, there's no permissions, there's no signing up, nothing. There's no assigning them to projects, so they get access to your entire account. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's the basic layout of Menvo. So let's go in and check out some of the clips. I actually don't wanna use this one because I've already edited those. So this one I just put in today. Uh, the platform is kind of slow, so just a fair warning. So we got six clips on this video. The video is about, I want to say 12 minutes, nothing crazy. And actually, the one on Opus is already done for the same video. So let's see what Opus gave us. All right, Opus gave us 14 clips on the same video. So there's your comparison between the two. I'll probably do a specific video comparing the two a little later when I get a little more comfortable with the uh, Minvo because I am going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I don't know what tier I'm going to keep, but I'm definitely keeping Minvo because it shows enough promise to really be worth keeping. Right, we got crate article. We got the content calendar. It pops up these annoying little tidbits every five seconds. I wish there was an option to remove that because it's extremely annoying after the seventh one. Here's where you look at your article. Okay, so that's one. It doesn't really do a whole lot, but you see how it highlights the the words here, the five, and there's a there's a green. See, so it changes it. That's your captions on this one. You know, it did opt Proud for the block. proper style. I have to admit, it's not it's not zooming in on my face on these, and Opus does that quite a bit. See how it cuts that off. That's one big thing it's got over Opus. Opus does not work well with review content at all where Minvo kind of has a workaround. See, here's here's one that I would expect from Opus right here, how it kind of zooms Point in. five for five article. I don't... And it basically shows nothing. You can't see anything the entire video. So let's go into the editor because I think that's... It's, uh, it's what's cool about Minvo and it's also part of the problem, I think, or at least one of them. Over here, you got your transcript. You can go to edit the actual captions here. And then you can even translate it to different languages, which is super cool. You can't do that with Opus, not currently anyways. 
So you can take one clip, you can use your clips for a video on multiple different language channels, if that's something you do. It's definitely not something I do, but it, I could see people using it for that, especially uh, if you're doing like clipping podcasts and stuff. You got that over there, your transcripts, you got your, your edit captions, you got your translate, and then you got your downloading transcript, which is also a very cool feature. Up here on the top right, you can change from portrait to landscape to uh, square. Uh, you got your export button. So down the side here, we got presets. This is really cool, but they should really kind of have this, I think, when you're setting the video up, when you're putting the URL in and you got all those options, this should honestly be one of those options, selecting the template. Or at the very least, selecting the, the, the caption style. See down here how it has the highlight of the, the purple. Okay, I'm clicking it and it's seeming to do nothing. 0.5 for five article. I don't understand. Okay, so it takes, a minute. Five it takes five. a minute for the templates to update. Yeah, overall the editor is extremely slow. Luckily, they have the fancy back button, but it did mess up the uh, the focus on here. Oh, shoot. Let's see here. Uh, center? No. Full video. There we go. Okay. So we had to fix that. I do like the apply all button. Opus has that, but it's not as easy to use, and it doesn't always work all the time. So I like the uh, the aspect focus thing. Now, if you go down to title, which is the next one over here, this is your actual captions so you can not only change the templates of the video you can change the captions text colors all that good stuff really cool and here's another caption settings oh, that's insane okay so i'm sorry this is the title when you add in a title at the bottom that's not as important captions options are here and you got your presets again they should have these presets at the beginning when you're uploading the video i don't know why they don't uh, brand here this is this should be under brand settings which it's not but it's cool that they have this. You can put in a watermark across the video if you want. Now you can add music here. This is another one that Opus, I don't think Opus has this one. Yeah, so Opus doesn't seem to have music at all. I did just go check, it wasn't positive. I never use music on shorts anyways. I don't use music at all, really. All right, and uh, you can actually add an outro. That's something that you can't do on Opus at all. So that's a win. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I like that. And then you can change the background here. You see how it's like, stars and stuff you can do that that these are this, these are neat and looks like you can upload your own so that's pretty cool yeah those are when so overall the settings and options in minvo are pretty vast uh, you can do a lot now let's cover the little clip thing down here because this is something that opus doesn't have either like it's just a kind of a clip editor down here where minvo has really a kind of a normal editor for a video it's really cool i like it you can add in b-roll super easy you just click that change media search for whatever you want coffee and you can search gifs videos images stickers icons the only limitation seems to be the speed of the dashboard the editor in Mimbo is extremely bad I think they need to update their servers or something. It's been like this since I got it. I was hoping it would get better as time went on, but uh, it definitely hasn't. You click that, use video, and now we got some B-roll. So We're supposed copy, to have 50 articles for the Now, it doesn't make sense, but it, it is there. But we're right. supposed to have 50 articles for the tier we're on. So based on the math, each article is going to be 50 credits, roughly. Yeah, so I'm not really sure what that means. And we're on what they consider the light plan. Okay, it says you have bring your own key abilities, but according to this, you do not. So that's a lie. You can't bring your own key, at least not on the tier one. You do have to upgrade. You can buy single articles. Looks like they're a dollar an article. All right, so... Yeah, you've seen a little play through there. And Let's get some... The emojis are relevant. I don't like how they're placed in the middle. And I'm not sure if there's a way to adjust those suggested keywords from that but yeah i don't like how it's in the middle it should really be like up top somewhere all right this little drag button at the bottom needs to be bigger honestly that's annoying the editor is pretty good it's just very slow you can click down here add background music if you want if you don't want to use these side options you can use pretty much everything from the editor down here which is very nice it's very reminiscent of uh, an actual video editing software oh you can do magic edit okay over here well, here's your, your AI B-roll. So if you want to redo the B-roll, you can click that. Pretty cool. 
do videos above captions. Okay, so here's how you do that. This is how you adjust where you want your your emojis. So you can do it. So you want that right there. Okay, and it's just gonna redo the emojis. I like that. The magic options are pretty cool. So let's see if it fixed the emojis. Based on the math, each article is yeah, gonna be 50 above, credits. Right above roughly. the captions now. Yeah, so I'm not really sure what that means. Okay, so and to insert stuff where it isn't currently, you just go click this button here. Insert an image, coffee again. And we'll do a GIF this time, maybe. You do not, so that's a lie. You can't bring your own. That's easy. So you could really micromanage it if you don't wanna use the uh, AI. That's the editor. So let's go ahead and check the other videos we did. Um, I went ahead and looked up some podcasts, just random podcasts that I thought were pretty funny. So let's check out the Kelsey brothers on a podcast. I'm already seeing one thing that I don't like. With most podcasts, you want to kind of be up uh, on the person that's talking, and it doesn't seem that they are doing that. It's all it's all the same type. Now, there are a lot more clips for this one. This There's a ton of clips for this one. Holy cow. One problem is they are all the same type of clip. I don't like that. See how it's all them just sitting there? Now, on this one, I think I picked anything above one minute. Because I think when you're doing podcasts... For the better, it's been amazing. Uh, people can definitely do more long form with those. So you would have to go in and edit probably most of these. All right, so let's do Magic Frame. This is where it's going to focus on the actual talkers, the, the speakers in the video. I, I honestly thought this would be done when they created the clips, but apparently it's not. Something you have to do afterwards. Opus does that automatically. I don't have to keep mentioning Opus, but that is what I'm comparing it to. All right, uh, and it failed already. Oh, you're not thinking about anything other than that, yeah. So that, yeah. that was, I don't need, I don't want the trophies or the statues, especially if the statue looks like Alan Iris's <laughs> statue. <laughs> Dude, the statues can go one way or the other, Bro, man. Some they of them are so you. good. Some of them you're like, all right, ah, all right, they love you, they love you, yeah. I mean, like if they made okay, a statue so of you guys. Switched. Yeah, see, he's not talking this entire time. See all that? He's not talking at all. I mean, don't you want pre-approval? Doesn't yeah, that? See, don't you want to? Like, oh, can I take, so, take a look at the draw, the drawings? It's like yeah, their magic their magic frame doesn't work very well. So this wouldn't be uh, great for podcasts, in my opinion. Yeah, it just doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Let's try again, because I feel like this is a very simple thing for the <laughs> for the AI to do if it's. They got a moving mouth, then you focus on them kind of thing. I don't know. Opus does this very well. A tattoo without them putting the yeah, stencil. Yeah, still not doing it. This should be... The line of Okay, actually, it's focusing. It's just a glitch. Without them putting... Because when I click on it, you see here, it's kind of highlighted. It's supposed to be showing him. So it's supposed to work. It's the stencil on him. like, free hand? Uh, so I think we Are found we a bug, boys and girls. The AI did it right. The editor is the problem here. I don't know how to fix that, though. Thinking about... Like this one here. Yeah, this one's way off. This should be... Should be center. Yeah. Anything other than that, yeah. So that, yeah. that was... I don't... I don't want the... Yeah, it shouldn't be there. It should be here. To the right. That just can go <laughs> one way or the other, bro. Yeah, it should be switching here. Statues, especially if the statue looks like Alan Iris's statue. <laughs> Dude, the statues. Dude, the statues can go one way or the other, bro. Man. Some they of them are so you. good. Some of them you're like, all right, ah, all right, they love you, they love you. I mean, like if. Yeah, there's some serious glitchy stuff going on with the positioning and the editor in general. Uh, it's not working very well, <laughs> so. I don't know. All right, so that's that one. Let's check the other one. We got Alien Encounters. This is a podcast with a comedian and some guy that believes in aliens. Uh, I don't know his name, but I know he's pretty popular in the alien industry. So let's see what they got here. So now you translate raw child's raw ch child. 
Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> I think he was going to rock the him. Family. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Hold on. Rothschild. So the yeah. Rock Kim ends up being the Rothschild yeah. banking dynasty. Yeah, seven hundred trillion dollar dynasty. Wow. Still running the planet until this day. Are they really? Are Seven hundred trillion dollar dynasty. There's not even seven hundred trillion dollars. Oh yeah, they run all the all the uh, banks, all the central banking systems. Oh, tell. Yeah, see, the clipping is way off. The focus is way off. It's all bad. You would not have this problem in Opus. That's all I'm saying. It's so. Let's see how many clips it actually made for this one. This was, I think, an hour and a half. Okay, so twenty one, which is pretty good. It's not bad. The other one was 34. This one's 21. That's pretty solid for one video. And you see how it's doing the that there? I don't like that at all. He gets his he gets his crew and he gets into the great. Okay, see it's buffering. He gets over the land of Kim. He goes, I see okay, the so land of Kim beneath right us. Mm -hmm. And I see the that temples rising up out of the mud that were flooded by the fountains. Now we come back. Now he comes down to the ground. Fountains he, is the great flood. Right. Got it. Okay. He opens the door. He comes out. Yeah, their people focus is terrible. Their AI cannot seem to focus on the people at all. Um, the editor is slow. It, it's cool. There's a lot of options you can do, but it's slow. This is a much slower process than Opus would be. Now, here's a, here's the video I just did of mine. I also ran it in Opus, so let's go check that out. So first up, Mimva. Let's see how many it got. It did quite a bit. It did 13 clips out of this one, which is pretty good. So I got 13 clips out of this one. How much did Opus do? Okay, Opus just barely beat it with 14. So that's pretty good. So we're going to call that a win for Minvo. Okay, so I would actually say Minvo did better than Opus on this video. The focus is not as good as the last video, though, because I want them to all kind of be the fill. So I want to do the full video, apply to all. Now, this is probably the easiest thing that I've seen. And this is where it kind of, like, is better than opus is it's just got the apply to all button <laughs> that actually works unlike opus okay so it didn't add b-roll it didn't add emojis or anything to this one so let's go ahead and do the magic buttons so we can do let's do some intelligently added emojis see what it comes up with so we got one up here let's go find a house on zillow all right we found a house in seattle washington yes or a video name okay so yeah they're pretty relevant not bad that did good let's do some magic media i don't like that you have to do this every time let's do middle for gifts yeah what should we do cover let's try the middle let's see what happens let's do some playing around here all right we let's go find a house on zillow all right we found a $12 million house in Seattle, Washington. Yes. Let's do this one. We are going to sell this house, damn it. Okay. That'll be our title, okay. our video name. And we're going to do a YouTube video. Just a YouTube video on this one for a uh, roundup review. We'll do it with this one again. This kind of sucked. Okay, so that one was terrible. Let's do Magic Media again. But let's replace it with videos. And we'll do Cover. I think my videos would probably go better with images, but I kind of want to test out all of them. See what it does, see what it can do. Um, and then we have one last thing to test on Minvo, which is the writing settings. So it's got a chat bot kind of built in, which is pretty neat. But let's go ahead and check this Do out. a YouTube video, just a YouTube oh, video on the YouTube video. Okay, see, this is not lined up very well. Easy fix though, easy fix. Do a YouTube video, just a YouTube video on this one. A uh, roundup review. We'll do it with this one again. That's not I wonder what happens. <laughs> happens when we hit that seven. We're See, gonna find out too today. Much Generate now. one more. Let's do a real estate listing. And that should be in the middle, really. Yeah. Let's do a real estate listing. Thirteen images required. Let's go find a house on Zillow. All right, we found a twelve million dollar house in. We are going to sell this house, damn it. Okay. That'll be our... A YouTube video. Just a YouTube video on the uh, roundup review. Okay, so it did multiple videos twice. Not a big fan of the, the magic media so far. Let's try some... Let's try images. See what happens. Uh, the gifts over the middle didn't work out very well. It's the... Uh, no, what happens over and over again? I don't like that. Seven. 
We're going to find out today. See, this is nothing. You can't even see what it is. This is horrible. That's a find out today. One. Okay. Let's do a real estate listing. 13. Crap. Let's go find a house on Zillow. Crap. We are going to sell this house. Yep, crap. To a YouTube. Yeah, see, I don't think these are adding to the video at all. At least the, uh, the B-roll is kind of cool. It's just too much. We need a little more settings on here to kind of tone it down a bit, I think. Uh, also, certain... Certain clips would be better small. Other clips would be better covering the whole thing. Um, so how you fix that, I don't know. But it's cool that they have it. Now, that was my video. I think B-roll probably works better on other styles of videos. It's not great on how-to videos. Here's one with uh, JP, I think his name is. And this one did nine clips. And this is about, I want to say this is like a 15-minute video. Might have been a little less. If so, you're not alone because spike protein causes a whole host of long-term health related issues that we're seeing in real time like never before. Well, fortunately help is here because Dr. Peter McCullough, Dr. Drew Pinsky and the chief medical board at the wellness company. I think that's an ad. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell. I think he's a comedian. So it's hard to tell. I don't know. What is a woman a documentary kind of proved that as did just human existence. Now, when I began my own transition, this was again about. I'm just going to speed things up. See, the focus on this one is a little bit better. It kind of goes off board here. Better. Yeah, I would reject that, too. I don't think one gen. Yeah, see, it's going off focus there. But then it goes back to him. So Oops. might be privileged in a certain context, but that that didn't. Can gender only be understood through the lens of culture or does the lens of culture kind of warp our understanding of gender? It's a social construct. That's what gender is. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so it did uh, some things right there, some things it missed. So overall, I think Minvo is a work in progress. Now, the other thing I want to show off here is not only can you view uh, create moments is what they call clips, but you also have the write or AI write function down here. Oh, actually, let me go back into moments. There's one thing that is absolutely missing with Minvo, and I think it's a huge miss, and uh, they need to fix it as soon as possible. See, when you go to here, what's the difference here between Opus and Minvo? So let's assume they made some fantastic clips right off the bat. For here, the only option is to edit, download, like, and hide. Now, if you hide a video, it just goes away. You can click it again and it'll come back. It's the same thing with Opus. Not a big deal. Uh, it has that as well. Asks for a reason, but you know, and you can just bring it right back. The big difference here are these settings down here. And I think these are huge. So you can post with the scheduler if you have your socials. You can post it, you can schedule it whenever you want, the different times, whatever. You can do whatever you want with that. You can download the Premiere Pro file so you can have all the cuts ready for you and it just loads into Premiere Pro. This is That's huge if you want to do stuff in an editor. That being said, Minvo's editor is more than enough to do most things. I don't think you'll need that with Minvo, so that's not a big deal. But the schedule button. It does not have a schedule button. I, I, I can't believe they're missing that. That is huge miss. Uh, that is so basic, especially when you advertise that you can do unlimited socials, which is something that Opus doesn't do. They need to fix the scheduling though. That needs to be on here. Right now you have to go into the editor and, and do it that way. It's a pain in the butt. Not only that, it doesn't work very well either. So let's back out. We'll go back into AI in a second. Uh, go over to social, your schedule. I scheduled a post to go out yesterday and it never went out. It didn't let me know it didn't go out. It just showed up as failed to post. No idea why it didn't work. There's no way to reschedule it from here. There's no way to schedule it from the projects. Oh, there is. Okay, so you gotta click the three buttons here and then click post. That's a huge miss. There's, there's no drag and drop ability on the socials. I'm not a big fan of that. Let's go back to the uploads. Now you can click AI right here and it'll take you to their little AI chat engine, which is pretty cool. And this works kind of like chat GPT does. You just tell it what you want and it's just going to spit out what it can do for you. 
Now down here, you got some preloaded prompts. You can do suggest 10 hot hashtags, write a song. I don't know why that would be in there, but <laughs> uh, write an article about this video, for example. So you got show notes, you can do the promotion button, find whatever, refine. But yeah, there's a lot of things you can do. Let's promote with some social. You are the creator of this episode. Write a promo for social media to promote this content. I want the listeners to be curious about the content, to check it out. Use a casual voice. Do not sound like you are selling something. Okay, so that's what we said. And it spit out a bunch of emojis here. Curious about a video tool that promises magic for your ads? Join our latest review where we explore video magic's twists and turns. Is it a hit or a miss? Find out more in our exclusive review. Unveil the behind-the-scenes surprises and let the magic begin. That's pretty good. Another cool thing would be is if it could create a like connect to Dolly 3 and create a, an image for that post. That'd be really cool. So you can copy it. You can download it. You can change down here. You want more brief, more funny, more engaging, more actionable. Check the transcription here. And again, you can do this under the editor as well. What they need is a thing to where you can highlight the script here and create another clip. That would be pretty cool. Oh, there we go, down here, new shorts. So let's do this one. There we go. Okay, that's pretty neat, I like that. So we got a short, we can check oh. it. Okay, so you can do one by one, 16 by nine, or nine by 16. And then you just hit create short. Hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so we found out some stuff. All right, and you can edit the title. Okay, let's generate a new title. Great bulk video for marketing. Okay, yeah, not bad, not bad. So I really like that. I like this aspect of it. The AI built in to the platform is super cool. There's some things I don't like about it. Let's check out the pricing. The pricing is actually, it starts out cheaper than Opus, but the problem is you don't get the AI features, and I think that's pretty important. You also don't get live chat support, which is always annoying. I hate when companies charge for chat support, but whatever. You can choose your minutes up here. I believe we're gonna have to go compare it with Opus, because I don't know. Let's change it from to monthly. Okay, so monthly is 300 processing minutes per month, which is five hours. So the comparable, so actually Minvo is more expensive currently, uh, but their normal, this is on sale. Their normal pricing is $29. So it's actually, it's price competitive. It's the same price. Uh, Minvo does offer more for the price though. If you're wanting to take advantage of the Opus deal right now, it is super cheap. And if you buy the year, you actually get it for nine and a half dollars. Uh, of the two, if I had to choose one and I was doing clips for YouTube or Honestly, anything but what I do, some like reviews, Opus works amazing. It's great with podcasts, so if that's something you want to check out. Opus is on sale, 67% off right now on the yearly deal. Uh, the description will have a link. It is an affiliate link. If you can use that, I would appreciate it. But this would be my pick of the two personally. But that being said, Minvo has a lot of promise. It actually has more than what Opus offers. It's just not quite as easy to use as Opus. I think Opus takes a day to learn to almost master, I would say. Menvo is going to take a, a few few days. <laughs> uh, a lot of extra work. There's a lot more uh, things you can do in Menvo, which gives you more editing time, unfortunately. But it also has some lower entry points. You can get in on a monthly deal for $8 and the pro version on Menvo. Or you can get in for cheaper for six bucks if you don't want the pro version. I would definitely go the pro version because the AI features is actually kind of the biggest selling point in my opinion. This is the biggest difference between Opus and Minvo is Opus doesn't have AI writing. It doesn't have any AI assistance at all outside of the uh, auto focus in the editing. So if that's something you want, you are gonna need the pro. Uh, if you do the annual, you get it for $8.99 is the cheapest end price you can get, which is actually the same price. It's actually cheaper <laughs> Then the sell price of Opus, you just get less time. So just keep that in mind. Now, if you are watching this in the next three days and you happen to be a plus member of AppSumo, you can probably go pick it up still. Right now, there's only four hours left. I'm not gonna have this video edited before this is over, unfortunately. So everyone that's not a plus member misses out. If you're watching my videos, I'm sorry. This is actually not one I was going to review first. I picked up Slick and um, 
PageIn, which are also Opus alternatives to check those out. So those will be coming out next. Uh, I was planning on doing Minvo last because I believe Minvo might actually be the best one of the three. <laughs> so uh, jump on it if you can over at AppSumo. Plan prices start at $69. Uh, they go all the way up to a bazillion. Oh, wow, $679. So let's, let's back up here. The best deal, in my opinion, for the money is Tier 3 for a couple of reasons. One, 12 hours per month you're never going to use. I don't use five hours a month from Opus, not even close. So you're never going to use 12 hours a month. That, that'd be multiple channels. Yeah, that'd be multiple YouTube channels just focused on clip material. The big one though is the file size upload. So if you're going to be uploading huge videos, huge long three, four hour long videos, you might need tier three. Uh, that being said, I think tier two would be your Opus replacement. If you can get on a tier two, that will be your pro, that'd be your pro Opus plan right there. If you have time, go check it out, jump on that. If you're only going to clip stuff a little bit like me, I'd be able to use tier one just fine. Uh, I like to overbuy things though, so <laughs> I have tier four. <laughs> Anyways, so let's go over the features real quick. Uh, the pluses and the minuses. One, let's see what what I love about Minvo is it's it's easy. It's almost as easy as Opus to get everything going. Uh, it's very easy to upload. It's very easy to upload videos. You do have multiple brands that you can easily switch from. There's some issues with the brands and the, the social medias. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Uh, if you're on a brand with all your socials, this is going to, if you have 10 brands, for example, let's say you have 10 brands, you're going to have 10 different Instagrams, 10 different YouTubes, 10 different TikToks, 10 different LinkedIn's. That's going to be a very big problem. It's going to be annoying. Uh, it's also going to be a hassle with accidentally posting stuff on the wrong socials. I could see that happening very easily with this. It needs to have brand segre segregation with uh, the socials. That, that's super important, and it's missing that. Another big miss for Menvo is is there's no schedule button. It's actually They actually kind of make it difficult to schedule these with their system, which it shouldn't be difficult to do anything in your system. So that's, that's a huge miss. Uh, the AI face focus for the speakers, the speaker focus is way off on Minvo. It does not work very well at all. Uh, that's the biggest, biggest problem and the biggest difference between Opus and Minvo, in my opinion. Outside of the clip selection, I think I think Opus actually picks better sections as well. And it gives you a grade, tells you why it picked it and everything. So that's a big one. You don't get that with Minvo. So it doesn't tell you why it was picked. It doesn't. It doesn't. Cut, it doesn't grade it like it does up here. I really like that. But the things it does have that Opus doesn't and probably never will is the AI writing it doesn't have that. Multiple socials. It doesn't have that. There's no calendar view you could look on. Uh, that being said, this they do need to fix the calendar view. For one, they need a re a repost section. But they need to fix the ability to drag and drop. Honestly, that's it'd be so much nicer to just have a bunch of video clips over here and just drag them to where you want them. But yeah, overall, I think Minvo is a keeper. I think it's probably, if I'm grading it based on AppSumo and the deal they're offering, the deal is fantastic. It's a five, five taco uh, software. Is it a full replacement for Opus? Are you going to never, ever think about Opus ever again? Uh, probably not. Uh, I think it's a full replacement. Uh, I don't think it's... If I had to choose the two to make clips on and I had both, I would pick Opus uh, just to make clips because the focus is better. The AI focus on the face is better. Um, you're gonna, it's easier to use. You're going to have to edit probably 90% of the Minvo clips where you it's the complete opposite with Opus. You have to edit maybe, maybe 10%, have to edit. It's probably a four taco software right now, but it definitely... It's definitely heading towards the five taco. They just need to fix a couple of things. They need to add some quality of life things in there. But it's primo. I really like this one. Go check it out if you can. If you have time to go pick it up and you do YouTube content or you want to start a clip channel, which uh, you can do. Mine actually got hit though. So fair warning, I had a, a clip channel that just posted other people's clips of their content it, it did get hit and it's getting zero views right now so i think it is something they're fighting so i do want to mention that try to put out your own content with it 
But that's it. That's it for this uh, Minvo review. If you can, go use the description links. Uh, some of them may be affiliate links. Some of them won't be. I'm not an affiliate for Minvo at the moment, but who knows? If they improve some things, I might be. Opus, I'm definitely affiliate for. I highly recommend Opus, and it is, like I said, currently on sale. It is 34% off on the monthly, or honestly, the yearly deal is insanely good. It's 100 bucks, and you get it for a year. Go check out Minvo on uh, AppSumo. It is your Opus replacement. It will work. It will replace Opus if you want it to. It's not as user-friendly. You'll spend your trading time for the better deal, if that makes sense. But Tier 2 is what you need to replace Opus Pro. Tier 3 is my personal pick for the best tier. You get double the file upload size. You get an extra user. And your file upload storage is doubled as well. Those are all huge. That way you can get ahead on your schedule. All right, that's it. I'll see you on the next video.